story time. Um, my brother was great. Like he had a lot of friends growing up. He would play uh, all different places in that neighborhood and people knew him pretty well. So last night, um, I went to the viewing of a, for a friend's father. Um, lovely, lovely man. It was very sad. While we were there, I ran into people that were parents of one of my brother's old friends and sister. Um, and then a couple other people that knew my brother growing up. And uh, I hadn't seen them in a while, definitely hadn't um, seen the parents in a long time. Um, and I was asked, so how's Tony doing? What's he up to? And it caught me off guard for a half a second. And um, I realized, you know, surveyed the scene very quickly. This is not the time or place to really get into it. Told them very quickly on, um, you know, unfortunately Tony died three years ago and told them what happened. And then um, felt myself comforting them in somebody else's funeral. And so this was awkward. I definitely didn't want to take the attention away from my friend or her father or like the family and all of the grief that was happening there. So I found myself changing the subject. Why I do that? I tend to protect everybody else and want to um, comfort everyone else. And I didn't need to do that last night. But I, and I think in any other situation, I probably wouldn't have, but it was a viewing and it was a funeral and it felt just heavy and weighted. And um, while people were laughing and telling stories about this man, I didn't think it was time to bring up my brother. And so I changed the subject. And then my mom walked over and I really kind of changed the subject and ushered her out and was thankful for another friend who showed up and, and we walked out together with my mom. Um, but I just wanted to point out that, you know, sometimes these things happen, you don't expect them to happen and it's okay and be kind and forgiving to yourself, which I definitely was not in the moment, um, but, uh, have been since that evening and, um, yeah, so I want to share that. It happens all the time. How, how many times do you have to break this news and then you find yourself comforting other people? It's weird.